Hello, YouTube. I'm Ian Matthews 7 and I'm a developer for Grindhouse Wetware. I wanted to show you quickly my latest, the prototype to my latest uh, invention here. Um, the idea is basically the recent, relatively recent discovery that uh, transcranial direct current stimulation of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, I think it's your dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, that um, it will induce the state. Well, uh, let's show you the device here. So, basically, I mounted it onto a, a baseball cap. Um, and I don't know if you can see this. Um, you've got a battery clip here for a 9 volt battery that's wired up to uh, by an alligator clip to these two resistors. And they're covered up by tape right now. But underneath these two pieces of tape are resistors. One of them, uh, they're wired up in series. It looks like they're in parallel, but they're in series. And then, so, again, using alligator clips, this goes down to these two, um, these electrodes. And these electrodes are basically um, sponges or pieces of sponges connected to alligator clips. Uh, and the resistors, the resistors that I use are 4.7k ohm and 1.5k ohm for a total of 6.2k ohm. Now, that is because I'm using a 9 volt battery. Uh, you're going to want to, if you, okay, first of all, I don't recommend trying this at home. Uh, I'm stupid enough to hook my brain up to a 9 volt battery. Uh, in all likelihood, you probably aren't. But if you are, um, you're going to need to apply Ohm's law in order to figure out what your resistors are going to be. Um, this thing is, the resistors are currently set to deliver about 1.5 milliamps of current. And um, what you can't do, uh, absolutely not, is apply more than two milliamps to your to your brain. Because you know this is your brain. I don't care how hardcore a grinder you think you are. You don't want to fry your brain. So do not apply more than two milliamps. Um, and I checked this thing with a multimeter to make sure it was pulling in the correct current before I used it. Um, but what you do is you dip the sponges in a salt, saturated salt water solution that I made here to make them more conductive. And then you simply put the cap on your head. Uh, and plug in the battery. And, uh, you know, I did this. I zapped my brain uh, for 20 minutes with this thing. Um, I built the device on Sunday, did some tests on Monday. Tuesday, I tried it with one milliamp of current. That didn't do anything. Um, but what I'm trying to do is engage a state called flow, and it was recently found out that transcranial direct current stimulation can induce a state called flow. And uh, because transcranial direct current stimulation changes the potential energy inside of your neurons, uh, it can stimulate or unstimulate certain parts of the brain. In this case, it engages the flow state, and flow is the complete immersion of you of your awareness in 
what you're doing. Um, so it's a state of immense focus, state where what you're doing feels like it's rewarding for its own sake. And I mean, we've all felt this, probably, where we've been in so engrossed in something that uh, you're not even paying attention to anything else at all. But this morning, uh, t uh, Wednesday morning, I uh, plugged it in with 1.5 milliamps. I increased the current, uh, and I zapped my brain for 20 minutes. And uh, that was an interesting experience in of itself. You get these weird lightning flashes in your eyes when you first turn it on, and whenever like the, like the electrodes accidentally move. And so that's interesting. Um, also, uh, where the cathode is, you feel it feels kind of itchy. I, I don't know how to describe it, but you know current is going from the cathode into your brain, so, you know, you can see why that might happen. And then later on in the day, I uh, went and did some work. I did some programming for uh, computational biology, and uh, what I found was that I could really focus on what I was doing and shut out any distractions and not procrastinate. I, uh, it was almost like after the state wore off, it was like I woke up from a dream and it was like, did I really just do all that? Because your sense of time is also distorted and it feels like time really flies. So, um, I definitely entered the flow state. Now, it might have been as a result of what I was doing rather than the TDCS device, but given that what I was doing was extremely repetitive, I sincerely have my doubts that that was what stimulated the state. Uh, also, I was originally going to use pennies as electrodes because I figured the copper would conduct electricity well, but the problem with that, uh, well, two problems. First of all, I've heard that that can really irritate your skin using pennies as electrodes. But second of all, whenever you have a cathode anode system hooked up in the circuit, uh, the cathode is going to oxidize and the anode is going to reduce. The problem is when metals like copper oxidize, they rust. And you do not want that happening while it's attached to your head. And uh, when, when iodide, which is the stuff that's in salt that I'm using, when iodide oxidizes, um, all it does is change back to normal iodine. It doesn't rust. It doesn't do anything like that. So, yeah, and I have, this is very simple, and I already have some plans to improve the device, like putting a switch instead of having to have it go whenever I have the battery hooked up. Uh, I have plans to do testing and to control for a possible placebo effect. Um, yeah, so uh, this transcranial direct current stimulation device, um, I can say fairly confidently works. And uh, testing it and improving it is going to be fun. So again, I'm Ian Mathwiz. I am a developer for Grindhouse Wetwares, and peace.